it's based on uh, a German film from I think it's 1987 um, and it, it's funny I, I knew the song it has a song that was very famous at the time um, I'm, I'm calling you um, it was a really popular song but I never watched the film so when this came to me I watched the film and I was it warms my heart. It's so quirky. It's such a quirky art house film. I've loved the film since my early 20s. I saw it, I must have seen it in a sort of cinema when I was a student and loved it. Never considered adapting it because it's the most perfect, strange film with no words, you know, almost no words. Um, and then at the beginning of lockdown, the first lockdown, I can remember thinking, gosh, I've, I run a company, I should have a clever idea that sort of matches the moment. And I can remember laughing to myself, thinking, well, it'll only be a couple of weeks and then the moment will be over. But it's not, um, I thought of Baghdad Cafe because it's all about space, isolation, and the, the possibility of hope and friendship, female friendship especially. Um, so we got the rights at Wise Children and I, I thought it might be a very good site specific show. I thought you could do it at a disused petrol station and do it with social distancing. Um, but the old bit were looking for a piece to open the theatre with and I said, I've, I've got exactly what you want, what the world wants and what I want to do. And, and uh, you know, who knows, but I'm in absolutely intoxicated. Um, basically about uh, a German lady who is traveling with her husband um, and after a fallout she happens across Baghdad cafe where there's a community of people um, at this cafe which is run by Brenda and her husband Sal and it's just about how people come together and their friendship and how they overcome differences and, and preconceptions about each other and how they come together as a community. We're all oiling the machine back to life. But what's interesting, I suppose, about this is that every single element of this is oiling the machine back to life. So the wardrobe department is doing that, the lighting department is doing that, the entire ecosystem, because we've all been um, off. So, yeah, it's been um, it's an interesting, um, interesting time indeed. You know, the, the film is all about long shots and landscapes and and showing us space. Whereas the theatre, you know, we're in an enclosed space, we have to show it in a different way. So I've used puppetry, I've used a lot of music. I, I knew that I wanted, there's very few words in the film, but as you know, I'm passionate about ensemble. So I wanted to feel um, space in a different way. So we're doing a lot of harmony, chorale singing to create, um, so using community to create the absence of community. Um, it's, it's high comedy and high tragedy. I mean, I cry every day. The actors are amazing. Seeing Emma, how Emma works, creating a show from scratch is so exciting and watching how everyone's individual talents are utilised. You know, I can't imagine other people playing these roles actually because each part is so tailored to what that person has brought to the room and their own individual talents. So it's, it's been so exciting, you know, just discovering the show. She's like the best ready steady cook. She goes, hey, what have you brought? I want to make um, a lasagna. And you go, well, I've got rice. I've got um, shoes and I've got um, some perfume. And she goes, well, I've never made a lasagna with that, but should we give it a go? Um, and that's what's so exciting because everything, um, my a dear, dear, dear friend of mine, a mentor who unfortunately passed away, um, always said it's all allowed. And in that room, it really is. There were so many laugh out loud moments as well. So it's been brilliant, like post lockdown, to come back to this show where we're, you know, discovering, we're finding funny moments. So yeah, I, th I think it's a, a beautiful show that's perfect for now as well. Like about 
feeling finding your communities again you know reaching out to people friendship and joy I feel all the emotions. I feel so lucky, so excited. I mean, I feel, I always knew I had the best life in the world, but now I sort of treasure every belly laugh and every tear and every sort of moment of surprise in the rehearsal room. It feels really precious. And it also feels precarious. You know, COVID has not gone. You know, I, I live every day with my fingers crossed yeah. that we don't get pinged. I mean, we're testing every day. We could not be safer, but, um, it's very heightened, I would say, but I'm incredibly grateful. I've got the most brilliant company of people around me. So I am, I'm back where I love to be, which is surrounded by life and love and surprise.